What is going on guys? Sosmos here bringing you another Wi-Fi battle in the OU tier against Anubis3032. This is a newer follower of mine who won the raffle on Monday on Monday morning stream. I did a stream that did that early. And we battled in the OU tier. As you can see, we both have Mega B drill teams. Um This is as mentioned before being recorded on a Tuesday, so I should have just said yesterday morning, but you know you get the gist of it. Anyways, I bring my Mega Beadrill team, which consists of Got Soap, The Room Wash, Molten Heat, The Heatron, Latias, Rage Quit, The Clef Key, Remove Genius, The Laners, and Bumblebee, The Mega Beadrill. My opponent is bringing his own Mega Beadrill team with Mega Beadrill, Raikou, Porygon 2, Machamp, Garchomp, and Skarmory. So basically what I want to do is keep the rocks off my side of the field and keep the rocks on his side of the field so that his Beadrill gets hurt and mine stays at full health in case a speed tie is needed to be the to be the deciding factor in it. But with that, all that in mind guys, let's get right on to the battle. I'm going to lead off with Got Soap the Rome Wash. My opponent's going to lead off with Cyclone the Beedrill. He's going to go for the Mega Evolution, go for Protect immediately to go for the Speed Boost, and a scout out what I might do as I go for the Will-O-Wisp. I knew Will-O-Wisp wasn't going to hit um, Beedrill because of the Protect, but he's going to go for a U-turn. I'm going to go for a Pain Slay here just so I can recover some HP and take some HP off of whatever he switches in. He's gonna switch out to Half Tooth the Raikou. So Pain Split is going to give him some HP back, take some off the of Raikou, and yeah, he's gonna share the pain, basically. So I'm gonna switch my run him out. I'm gonna hard switch out, and I'm gonna go into Heatron here. He's actually gonna go for a Shadow Ball, which will hit Heatron neutrally. This is a, an all right amount of damage, which tells me it is choice specs. My Heatron is especially defensive. So he's gonna switch his Raikou out, and I'm gonna go for a Stealth Rocks, I wanna say. And he goes to the Wall EXE to trace my Lava Plume and, or my Flash Fire and hopefully soak up the Lava Plume. So I do get my Rocks off on side field, which is gonna be very important in this battle, especially with that B drill running around. My Heatran will put a Toxic Timer on Porygon 2, which is great because Porygon 2 cannot, is gonna get completely walled out by Heatran. And he goes to Discharge and that paralyzes Heatran, sadly. So, Porygon 2 does suffer some from poison. He just switches Porygon 2 out and go into Garchomp as they go for Roar. Just to basically roar out his Pokemon and have his Pokemon take chip damage. So, out comes Half Tooth to Raikou. He takes some Stealth Rock damage. His Raikou is going to go for a Thunderbolt here. And this does a lot of damage, so this tells me that it is choice specs. And then go, I'm going to go for a Love Wound just to get some damage off on the Raikou. So, he's going to heal the leftovers. He's going to switch his Raikou out and go into, I believe, Porygon 2. Which is going to trace the Flash Fire. And so, Lava Plume is obviously not going to do anything to Porygon 2. But I do double out here. I do go into Remove Genes. I predicted him to switch into Garchomp, actually. Which is why I switched into Landorus. Um, I'm going to go for a U-turn. Which is not going to do too much to Porygon 2 because it's evil. I'm going to go right back into Mullen Heat, the Heatran. He's going to go for a recover. No, he's going to go for Ice Beam, actually. So I do scout that he has Ice Beam, which is a good thing he did not keep Landers in there to knock off the Eviolite. But that would have been really important. That would have been really key to get rid of the Eviolite, because with the Eviolite on, I'm going to have a hell of a time to get rid of the Porygon, too, unless it's going to just Toxic, wear him, Toxic Solemn, or knock him out with Toxic. So he's just going to heal the leftovers. He can go, he's going to get healed, um, hurt by a Toxic. He's going to go for Discharge. I go for a Lava Plume here in case he decides to switch out, but I get fully paralyzed again. And I'm just gonna basically keep Heatron in here. His Porygon 2 is gonna get Will down Toxic. So I'm gonna switch Heatron out. I kinda figure I can switch into Remove Genie's Landers as he'll probably go for either a Discharge or a Recover. And right I am. So Porygon 2 gets healed with its own recovery. And I'm gonna go for a knockoff here. He has a choice. He can keep Porygon in there and Ice Beam my Landers and risk and lose his Evil Light. And take some more toxic damage, or he can switch it out. He does switch it out, and I do go for a knockoff. He switches into my champ, and that knocks off the salt vest. I switch out, remove genes, the landers, and going to reach with the cleffy. Now, I'm not really sure what I did here, why I did that. Maybe because I thought he would go for ice punch. I'm gonna go for foul play in case he switches into Garchomp, predicting the thunder wave. He goes for a dynamic punch, and that's gonna do a lot of damage and confuse my cleffy. That is what's so annoying about my champ. Its ability makes it so a dynamic punch will hit every time and get you. Give you 100% confusion. So I'm gonna sack off the Heatron. I don't know why I didn't sack off Heatron from the get go, but Heatron is knocked out. And next up comes Bumblebee. 
Gonna go for the Mega Evolution and go for a U-turn because the Predator Kingdom is switching to Skarmory. And I'm really hoping that Skarmory is not the Rocky Helmet variant because I don't want Mega Beedrill to take any damage. So, gonna go for the U-turn. And he is actually not Rocky Helmet, which is very good for me. So, out comes Beedrill, in comes Rotom Wash. I'm gonna go for a Volt Switch. He's actually gonna switch into Porygon 2. I was, I was telling you to switch to Porygon 2 because I didn't want him to switch into Garchomp. So out goes Skarmory, in comes Porygon 2, and this will give me a switch initiative right here. It will give me momentum in this battle. So Volt Switch on Porygon 2, and in comes Bumblebee, the Beedrill. Porygon 2 is going to take some toxic damage after that. And I'm going to go for a U-turn again in case he switches out into Skarmory again. But he's not going to switch out. He's actually going to keep Porygon 2 in there, and the U-turn will finish it off with a critical hit. I don't know if the critical hit mattered, because Mega Beedrill has adaptability. But I'm gonna go into a Ghost Filter Ruin Wash, which is gonna get healed with leftovers. He's just going to Goro the Machamp. I'm gonna hard switch up because I don't know how much speed is invested in this Machamp, and I don't want to risk it. Take, um, I'm going for Dynamic Punch on my Rotom. So I'm gonna just basically stack off the Cleft Gear, and Dynamic Punch will finish it off. So Cleft Key is down. Next up comes Mega B Drill. What will be the Mega B Drill? I'm gonna go for Poison Jab, predicting him to predict my U turn, and I do predict right, so. Machamp is now critical hit, did not matter because of adaptability. Out comes Skarmory, gonna go for a U-turn here. He's actually gonna go for the Brave Bird on my... Here, he's not gonna set up the rocks, which is a relief. So I do go into God Silk to Rotom Watch. And the Brave Bird will be not very effective against Rotom. He's going to, I believe he's gonna switch Skarmory out for Garchomp as we go for Volt Switch. He's not really fearing the will o -Wisp because I would have used it by now. But Skarmory's gonna come out, in come, out comes Garchomp. And here's where it's something unfortunate. I go for, I go for will o -Wisp with my Rotom Wash, and it's going to miss. It's kind of going to matter because he's gonna have plus two on Garchomp, and it really does suck. So I'm gonna switch Rotom Wash out. I don't want Rotom Wash to be plus two Dragon Claw or Outrage. I'm gonna go to Lando and get minus one. So now that reduces him, his guard time down to a plus one in attack. So I will do over half, and I'm gonna go for Earthquake and just stack off the Landorus. There's really not much I can, else I can do, and Dragon Claw will finish off. And the reason why I say the Will of Us is because I could have preserved the Landorus with the Raikou. Right, here's what it is. Alcon's Latte is gonna go for the Psy Shock, and that will finish off Guard Shock from that range. Um, next up comes his Skarmory, I believe. And he's actually, this is going to be interesting, he's going to actually go for a Tailwind instead of Stealth Rocks. Now I'm not really sure why he didn't go for Stealth Rocks or if he even was running on the set. But so far his moves are Tailwind and Brave Bird. I'm going to go for the Volt Switch, I'm going to be outsped by Stormy because of Tailwind. He's going to go for Toxic now, so Tailwind, Brave Bird, and Toxic. Very interesting Stormy set he has. But the Volt Switch will finish off his, his um, Stormy. I'm going to go to Bumblebee the Beedrill, so now what I need to do is I need to stall out the Tailwind. The Tailwind. So I can actually outspeed the rest of his team. I'm going to go for a protect here. It'll get, get me a free turn to solve the tailwind. If you go for a thunderbolt, and I'm not looking for my Beedrill to take a spec thunderbolt, especially when I need it for his mega Beedrill, because that, my scarfer is down. So out comes Latias. He goes for a thunderbolt. Um, it's not going to do much. Tailwind Panthers out finally. He's going to go for a second thunderbolt, and Psy Shock will finish off the Raikou. The next up comes the Cyclone and the Mega Beedrill for him. I'm going to basically sack off the, the um, Latias. And next, he's going to finish off Poison Jab. The next up, so now it's Beedrill versus Beedrill. Mega Beedrill versus Mega Beedrill. He's going to win the speed tag, go for a drill run, and that's going to do a clean 80%. I'm going to go for a drill run as well, and that's going to finish him off. And had it not hey, set up rocks, I would have lost that battle unless we're launched to survive and went for Hydro Pump and knocked it out. But fortunately, my Mega Beedrill pulled through even despite losing a speed tie, and it, it really helped. I mean, I was I was just glad he did not set up his rocks. He had two possible rock setters in Skarmory and Garchomp. And fortunately, my strategy of getting rocks on his side of the field and keeping my Mega Beedrill at full health did pay off. So good game, Anubis 3 0 32. Thank you so much for the battle, man. And thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of these epic Wi Fi battles. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Wi Fi battling action. Maybe even the beginning of a Sonic LP. I haven't decided yet, but 
in the meantime, guys, stay salty, Rage Quitters. Stay salty.